If there's anything LA is known for, it's tacos. And you can literally find any kind of taco you want, but can you find vegan tacos? The answer is 100% yes. I'm Eunice, and I'm going to show you four must-try vegan taquerias in the LA area and the stories behind them. First stop was a little taste of Southern Mexico. Hi, my name is Greg Owens. I'm the owner of Hijo de Su Madre here in Westwood, California. A big part of our company and why we started Hijo de Su Madre was I want to share veganized versions of my mother's cooking, stuff that I grew up eating. Most people associate uh, Mexican food with one style of cuisine, uh, tacos, uh, carne asadas. Uh, in Yucatan though, we have various different styles of cuisine. Um, with lots of different influences, and that's one thing I want to showcase here at the restaurant. Okay, so I am at Hijo de Su Madre here in Westwood. They are known for amazing Mexican food, but not just any Mexican food. It's food from the Yucatan, Yucatan Peninsula. The cool thing I like about this from Yucatan cuisine is that it's very similar to Central American cuisine, which is where my family's from, right? So you see a lot of crossover. There's a lot of Mayan influence in the food. So let me just tell you what I got here. Oh my gosh, I have like every kind of taco. You guys are gonna love this. One of their most popular dishes is the cochinita, so they, which is a pork, but they've substituted that with jackfruit. It looks absolutely delicious and it's topped with avocado or black beans. Okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna start the one with the beans because beans and corn, I mean, like, who doesn't love that? Okay, cheers. Oh my gosh. This is so good. It's so good. The jackfruit is marinated to perfection. You would think you were eating meat, right? Like, it's so good, it's so flavorful. Everything here is absolutely delicious. I started with the tacos first, but I have some appetizers here as well. If you need a palate cleanser, you must try one of their agua frescas. This one is watermelon and mint. They actually use real watermelon, no syrup, right? Okay, so I'm excited to tell you guys about this. This dip is called Sikil Pak. Sikil stands in Mayan for roasted pumpkin seeds and Pak is for roasted tomatoes. So it's essentially, it's a roasted pumpkin, roasted tomato dip. Guys, I stuck in a bite of this before. And I couldn't wait to take another bite because it was so good. This is so good. I've never had something like this before. So I highly recommend that you try it. It's a great appetizer. Oh my god. I could eat this as a meal. Like, seriously. Mmm. 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 Okay, another appetizer that they're known for is called kipis. They're like croquetas. It's a common street food and it's served with bean puree. Oh my gosh, an avocado. They're fried because, you know, what's a croqueta if it's not fried? Mmm. 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 You got like quinoa in there. Oh my gosh. It's flavored really well. It doesn't feel super heavy. You know, because sometimes fried foods feel very heavy. This does not feel heavy. This feels, it's just delicious. Okay, esquites. Esquites are something that a lot of people are familiar with. It's roasted corn with like cheese on it, but they've of course veganized it. They make their own like vegan cotijas and they have it here and I can't resist because it's calling my name, which is absolutely beautiful. Mm. <gasps> Guys, I tell you right now, you're not gonna be disappointed with anything, okay? Like, every bite I'm taking, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is amazing, this is amazing, this is amazing. <laughs> okay, breakfast taco, because that is the thing. This is a chorizo con papa taco, loaded with avocado, so if you're an avocado lover, you're gonna love this. Okay, cheers. Wow. Oh my gosh, this is so good. I don't know about you, but this is the perfect way to start the day. I would do this every morning if I could. Mmm. Everything here is like a flavor bomb in your mouth. This is amazing. Last, but definitely not least, dessert. Because there's always room for dessert. There's always room for dessert. They have some pastelitos here that have coconut in them and sweet potato. Mmm. Mmm. The puree is so good. The powdered sugar is just beautiful. If you love coconut, 
You also have to get the crema de coco. Mm, this is a must try. Seriously, this place is definitely worth checking out in Westwood. Hijo de su madre will not disappoint. Next, I headed over to Baldwin Park for those comfort food classics. So my name is Jose Mejia. I help my family run Garduno's Taco King in Baldwin Park. We started off back in 1987 uh, when my parents moved from LA here to, to give it a shot. I grew up here. I, uh, I've been wiping the tables down since I was like five years old. And once I came of age, I started helping them more. Went to, to culinary school for a while, worked at a few other restaurants, and then came back to, to work with family. We started off with a cauliflower ceviche tostada because we wanted to offer some options for vegan and vegetarian people. I was exposed more to uh, the vegan community and interacted with them more online and little by little uh, learned more about everything and became vegan myself a few years back. We've come to grow a pretty large vegan menu, like enough for a, for a vegan restaurant on its own in addition to everything else that we offer here. Okay guys. I am at Garduno's in Baldwin Park and I am beyond excited to try all the different vegan options they have here. Obviously, I'm here to try a taco, but I couldn't resist because not only they are at Taqueria, they have a bunch of different traditional Mexican dishes made vegan, like chilaquilas, albondiga soup. They got the tacos, they got the lime, everything, beans, they have tortas, the milanesa. So yeah, we're gonna try a taco, but I'm gonna tell you guys everything else that they got here too. I'm filming this around brunch time. I haven't eaten all day, so I, of course, had to have chilaquilas. You guys, it's rare when you get to find chilaquilas vegan because what makes it special is when they add like the eggs on top. So in this case, tofu scramble. They grill everything on a separate grill, right? To make it vegan and oh, so good. This just looks amazing. I'm just gonna take a giant bite of this. Oh, okay, cheers. Mmm. 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 This is so good. This hits the spot. The sauce just takes it to the next level. This is amazing. I'm so hungry right now. Mmm. Highly suggest that you come for like brunch time and have this. This is just mm, comfort food at its finest. And they got horchata and champurado too vegan. Oh, this horchata is so bomb. Oh. But I'm here to try a taco, right? Because after all, this is a taco video. So I got the cauliflower taco. I couldn't resist because also it's Jose's favorite, okay? So if the owner says it's his favorite, I'm gonna try it. They also have jackfruit one, so I just love a good cauliflower, right? And so they have this one in a red sauce and it's an adobo sauce. So double tortilla, extra brownie points for that. I love that. All right, cheers. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. That cauliflower is so flavorful. Like, a lot of times people think that to replace meat, you need to use some kind of meat substitute, right? No, you can use vegetables that are hearty, that give that nice texture. I love cauliflower. When you grill it or fry it however you want, it gives it an amazing flavor. So, absolutely love the flavor on this. Highly recommend. So, update, we got some new items here. I couldn't resist. They have a crunchy hard shell taco also. It has chili and chorizo, vegan cheese, and salsita that go on top. Oh my God. Okay, so let's give this crunchy hard shell taco a try. Oh, this looks so good. Mmm. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. I hope you guys love that crunch ASMR because mm, the Beyond Meat chili is so good. You guys have to take a look at this. All right, tacos already, oh, so good. So Jose was like, listen, you need to try this torta even though I had a lot of food. And I was like, okay, I will do what you tell me to do. I'm gonna add some more salsita to this because I can't help it. Oh, it has the milanesa, which is like a breaded meat, but in this case it's vegan, obviously. It has cheese and crema and oh, jalapenos, yum, lettuce, tomato, let's go. Mmm. 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 Bread on this is so good. I can see why he told me, like, hey, just, just try it. Mmm. <laughs> Honestly, you can't go wrong with getting anything here. Everything here is so amazing. It's so good. Solid vegan tacos in Baldwin Park. Don't miss it. You gotta come to Garduno's Taco King. Next, I had to stop by an LA favorite who now has a new location. 
Hi, my name is Carmen. I'm the chef and co-founder of Cena Vegan. Cena Vegan provides Mexican street food. We try to make our recipes as authentic as possible, following in the traditions of the food I learned to make from my mother and my grandmother. We make all our sauces, all our food from scratch, our seitans are also made in-house. We started Cena Vegan because we wanted to offer an alternative to eating meat, and we wanted the food to be as authentic as possible. We wanted people to have all the things that are familiar, that, that most of us grew up eating. We just wanted to offer a vegan version of it because there was nothing like that out in the market. Okay, so I've got my food now, and of course I couldn't resist, I had to get a couple things. I got the Trio Taco Plate, you guys, they make their own handmade corn tortillas, so they already get brownie points for that. You can choose different proteins for each taco, so of course I did that. I got carne asada, birria, and pollo asado. And of course, a hefty portion of guac on top, because you can't have a taco without guac, at least in my opinion. Put some lemon juice on there. I'm gonna start with birria first, because I love birria, okay? I used to be addicted to birria tacos, so let's go. Let's see if this is the real deal. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. For those of you who are not familiar with birria tacos, it's like a stewed meat, right? It has its like consomme, that's what just is the beauty of birria. Okay, it's like shredded beef typically, but they've nailed it here with whatever vegan meat they use. Oh my gosh. This is absolutely flavorful. I have to take another bite, excuse me. Mm. 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 This is so juicy. You could fool anyone and tell them this was real meat. Oh my gosh. Moving on to the pollo asado, which is roasted chicken, right? Cheers. Mm. Oh wow. Oh wow. They're blowing my mind. There's a reason they are one of the number one voted vegan tacos in LA. Every year, they're on that voting list for nominations, mm. and the portions are super hefty. Carne asada, because that used to also be my go-to. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. I had to get this, because the first time I ever had Cena Vegan, it was a carne asada. I wasn't vegan at the time, I think. I was so vegetarian. And guys, tacos? 10 out of 10, I, I honestly, they, they're just amazing. This is so good. The other thing I couldn't resist and I had to order was their tortas, you guys. Their tortas are just massive. For those that are not familiar with tortas, tortas are just giant Mexican sandwiches full of just goodness, okay? You can choose your protein, it comes with guac, it comes with crema, it comes with beans, it comes with the works. Uh, and it's always using this delicious bolillo roll or telera bread. Okay, cheers. I got it with the birria because again, birria is like my go-to. Mm. Mm. Oh, hell yes. This is absolutely delicious. Oh my gosh. You know what this reminds me of? Okay, so I'm Salvadorian. Every holiday we have vegan panes con pollo, which is like a stewed chicken, a little bread. Obviously, I don't eat chicken because I'm vegan, but it's almost like the Mexican version of that because it's the stewed meat with the sauce and the bread and the lettuce and the, oh, this is so good. I feel like I'm having Thanksgiving right now. This is amazing. Mm. Mm -hmm. They've impressed me a lot right now. This is delicious. Again, they have multiple locations. Make sure to check out the closest one to you. If not, they're at Smorgasburg LA. So you can go try them and a bunch of other vendors as well. Please let me know what you think. Give it a try, which one you would try because 100% I highly recommend. For my last stop, I had to check out the taqueria everyone is raving about. So I am at the famous El Cocinero in the San Fernando Valley. You guys, this is a drive for most people, but there's a reason that this place is packed all the time and so many people talk about it. They have every kind of vegan meat you can think of. Al pastor, asada, carne guisada, birria, carnitas, you name it, they got it. They have a totally authentic menu. Let me tell you what I got. I could not resist. The birria crunchy tacos are one of the most popular things on their menu. I'm a sucker for birria. Most of the meats they make here are of soy, except for the carnitas. The carnitas are made out of jackfruit, but let's start with these crunchy birria tacos because you guys, I'm starving. I drove a long way for this, so mm, gotta dip it in that consomme. Oh, it's just like dripping. Mm. 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 
Mmm. That is so juicy. The beauty of a crunchy video taco is that they usually dip the tortilla in the consomme first and then they put it on the comal to get that extra crispy, flavorful tortilla. Mmm. And the consomme has so much flavor. So I'm just gonna keep eating that. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, it was so bomb. I believe this is jackfruit as well. Okay, the next thing I have to tell you guys about. Because this is an item that's not talked about a lot. A lot of people don't know what a mulita is. If you know what a mulita is, you know what a mulita is. So a mulita is usually either corn or flour or tortillas. It's like a quesadilla but on steroids because they usually stuff it with meat and onions and cilantro and everything and then they grill it on the, on the comal. So this mulita is loaded with the carnitas made out of jackfruit. The vegan cheese melted. Mm, I'm gonna add some salsa to this because of course you need to have salsa with everything to make it in house. Cheers. Mm. Mm. That is so bad. Before I went vegan, a mulita was one of my favorite things to eat. And you wouldn't find it often on a lot of people's menus. And a lot of Mexican food trucks, sometimes yes and sometimes no. Oh, but when you find a good vegan mulita, you guys, you gotta try that. You got to have it. Those jackfruit carnitas too are the bomb. Mm. Last but not least, because it's such an iconic taco. I had to try al pastor. Because, I mean, is it a Mexican joint if they don't have al pastor? I don't know, but let's try it. Mm. Mm. You can taste the sweetness of the pineapple and the al pastor. That's what gives al pastor the iconic touch. You can tell they use soy curls. This is absolutely delicious. Oh my gosh, when you add the extra salsa, the spiciness on that, mm, and a little bit of lime, Mm, excuse me, I'm just gonna keep eating. Mm. Obviously, don't forget to chug down some horchata with your tacos. I love me a good horchata. But if you're a dessert fan, you 100% cannot leave without trying the flan. Because again, vegan flan is hard to come by. Oh. Oh my, God, no. oh my gosh, you would never know this didn't have any eggs in it. They do such a good job of mimicking the texture of real flan and the sugar cane, do everything that's in here, la miel, oh my. I can see why this place has a lot of hype. Celebrities eat here. It was featured on different shows. Like, you guys, it's, it's far from a lot of people in LA or even Long Beach, but it's, it's at least worth a drive visiting once. Okay, so which was my favorite taqueria? Before I get to that, let me just say what I would get at each place. You guys, the competition is fierce. There are some serious taco joints here in LA, vegan, and there's way more. I didn't cover them all. These are just some of the tops that I just had to check out. I might make a part two of this video. So, hijo de su padre, what I would get there, ugh, first of all, I would get that secret pack appetizer. That thing is to die for. I am tempted to drive all the way over there just for that. But the chorizo breakfast taco, so good. So uh, between that and the cochinita, mm, I think I, I think the breakfast taco, I just remember that blew me away, but that, it, everything is good. Like literally everything is good, you can't go wrong. Gardunos, those crunchy tacos, hands down. I could literally eat 10 of those crunchy tacos. They're so good. But I just love how Gardunos has all that, you know, authentic, traditional, classic comforts when you think of Mexican food. So make sure you check them out. Cena Vegan, <laughs> you guys, I've already been back there since this video and I got that torta again because it's so good. But basically anything with birria, you can't go wrong. The Yuba tofu skin that they use is just marinated to perfection. I, I love it. And then for El Cocinero, the crunchy birria tacos. So you can kind of see a theme going on here. I like crunchy, I like birria, and so there you get the best of both worlds. Again, they have that classic taqueria vibe, which is really cool. A lot of celebrities go there. But if I had one place that I had to pick out of all of them, like as a go-to, I think I would pick Sena Vegan. I would have to do it just because I just love the fact that they had those handmade tortillas. Like it makes a world of a difference. Everything is just loaded. I love the birria. Like again, it's yuba meat, right? So it's something you don't see every day. And they just have that torta. And it's just like, I just love everything about them. And so, and they have multiple locations. So depending where you are, you can go to the one closest to you. 
So that's, that's why I think they would win for me, but everything is delicious. Again, I would go to all of these places again. So I hope you guys like this video. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Let me know which place you would go to first and what you would order. And please tell me all the vegan taquerias that I missed and where I should go to next for a part two. Okay, guys, catch you next time on Ready to Be.